Good morning. Good afternoon. I do not know what time of day this will find you, uh, but I wanted to welcome you to our all remote access learning platform. Um, here at Susquehanna Township, our mission is the success of every learner, and that means even those learners who cannot be with us in person. So we have developed a way to access them remotely and have them access us um, through the use of the wonders of technology. Uh, in order to make that technology work, uh, you are currently picking up or have recently picked up a device uh, that the district has provided for you in order for your learner uh, to be successful in the classroom. If you are picking up a device or have picked up a device that is for one of our primary students, it'll more than likely be an iPad unless they are an upper primary student. So if your student is at Sarah Lindemuth or Thomas Holtzman, more than likely you're picking up an iPad. Uh, in order to ensure that that iPad is going to work later on today or uh, over the next couple of days at home, uh, please make sure that we enter your passcode uh, while you're there at school, while you are on campus, if you would. Uh, the home screen uh, should look something like this, uh, where there are these uh, tiles that are the applications that have been preloaded onto the student's iPad. Uh, very important that the CK Auth or CK Auth Authentication uh, application is there so that the iPad will continue to work well at home. Uh, so please make sure that that is there. If it is not, uh, you need to contact support immediately uh, from the office, and then they will be able to help out uh, making sure that that is there. Teams is the platform where we are going to show uh, our meetings at. So the meetings for class will take place on the Teams platform. So you need to make sure that that is loaded onto uh, the student's iPad, as well as Seesaw which is the learning management software that the primary level is using uh, so that the teachers can communicate uh, with you as well as the student. And the last app that seems to load is NWEA. So if you see that, we can be pretty sure that your applications are fully loaded so that your student is able to access the learning materials necessary uh, while they're at home. Uh, if you are a secondary student or an upper level primary student, you'll be picking up a laptop. The laptops uh, are a little bit different in terms of what the user needs to do before they leave campus. So if you would, please uh, follow along here. You're going to make sure, first of all, when you open the laptop and turn it on, that it is connected to the HANA SD Wi-Fi while you are there on campus. If you've already left campus, you're going to need to go back. Uh, if it is not connected to HANA SD Wi-Fi for some reason, uh, please see uh, support or the office staff to help you uh, get that fixed up. Uh, once you have made sure that it is indeed connected to the Wi-Fi, the HANA SD Wi-Fi, you're going to go ahead and click other users. Somebody else had, uh, had their hands on the computer and had done work in order to make sure all the applications were appropriately loaded so that the student can access them later. Uh, so you'll need to change to other user and then enter your student ID number and then password. Uh, that is the default password right now is Anna2020. Once you have entered those things, it's going to prompt you to enter a new password. You will enter that new password uh, twice and then click the arrow to move forward. If for some reason the password does not take, please make sure that the password uh, satisfies the following. Uh, number one, that there are two of three, um, either capital letter, number, or special character. So you can see there in number one, you're going to have to have two of those three in order to make the password work. You're going to have to have six characters. Can't reflect any part of your name, and it can't be one of the passwords that you have used in the last 10. So if you had a laptop last year and you used the password LeBron is the best number nine, you're going to have to change it to LeBron is the best number 10, or whatever it is that you choose to use as your password. Uh, you cannot use one of the last 10. So once you've done that, you should see the desktop, and if the desktop is there and it looks something like that, you're good to go. So as we go home and we start to access our education from a remote location, uh, we want to make sure that we remember that we are still going to adhere to our store values, that is safety, ownership, accountability, and respect. Um, and for the students, here are some of the things that we want to make sure that we highlight. It's still a school day. We need to get up. 
We need to get dressed. If school starts at 737, I can't roll out of bed at 736 and be expected to do my best uh, the, <clears throat> for those first couple periods. So <clears throat> get up, get dressed, grab yourself some breakfast. Right? Make sure that if you're doing something that you don't want others to see that you turn off your video. Uh, you are to have your video on, face forward in the camera so that we can see you and interact with you. Uh, if you are doing something, however, like you need to get up to go someplace and you turn your camera off, that is fine, as long as you make sure that you turn your camera back on when you come back to sit down uh, at your seat. Speaking of your seat, um, set up a space in the house so that there are minimal distractions, so that there is not a whole lot going on in the background, so that you have the ability to focus on what it is that you are set aside to do that at that time, uh, which is your education. So it is very important to try to find some place that has a minimal amount of distractions. Um, and it is also set up for you to learn. So a desk, a table is best uh, for that type of thing. And then be on time for class. I realize that it's a very short commute, but uh, it is very important that you're there and you're timely and that you are ready to work. You are ready to engage and learn. Also, uh, be respectful of the process. Uh, interruptions and things like that um, are not going to help others learn. Um, be respectful not only of yourself and others, uh, also the teacher, uh, and we should all get along fine. Uh, and be very successful. So SOAR, uh, because of the fact that we are at home, we're, we're also going to include our parents on this. Uh, and again, it is important for us to be dressed and well-groomed if we are in the background. Uh, if we're passing by, we want to make sure uh, that we are dressed in a way that we want to be seen. Uh, if for some reason we need to do something, uh, we ask the child to turn off the video uh, so that we are on scene as we may pass through the room. Uh, be respectful of the learning process, so uh, make sure that if you need your child for some reason uh, that we are uh, not interrupting a teacher's live lesson uh, for whatever reason. And then please do not engage in the use of uh, substances, uh, whether they be controlled or alcohol or tobacco, uh, while on camera. Okay. Some other videos that are going to come up and some apps that we're going to be looking for us to be able to use. Uh, Campus, which is our student information system, so that the students can access their grades and their uh, schedule. Teams, which is where the meetings are going to be held uh, at all levels and for the secondary level where some of the assignments are going to be housed. Outlook, which is our uh, program to uh, interact with email, calendar, and tasks. OneNote, which is a digital notebook for students to be able to uh, access information, to gather information, to take notes, and then OneDrive, which is a cloud-based system for uh, file management so that the students uh, can hold on to all of those very important documents. Okay. So hopefully this video has found you well uh, and well on our way. Uh, to ensure the success of our learners uh, through this remote access uh, learning platform.